Hey, what's up, everyone? This is my first podcast here. Welcome to episode number one. My name is Ricardo. I'm here to drop as much value, as much knowledge as I can in this video. And thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe for more of this. I'm investing in the equipment. I'm investing in time to do these videos. So I'm going to drop as much knowledge as I can. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for this new new value that I'm bringing out. And today's topic is something that I feel like everyone needs to talk about nowadays. Now, barbering, let's talk a little bit about barbering. So I'm a barber, I own a barber shop. And in the industry, you can lose yourself very easily. Let's let's keep it, let's keep it straight here. You can lose yourself very easily, and I'm gonna tell you the reasons why. Number one is that a lot of times you're self-employed, you don't have someone to really hold you accountable. Um, if you're doing all cash transactions, you're taking cash home and there's very little financial budgeting. And a lot of the times, once you reach a certain por- part in your life, once you reach a certain part in your career, which is you're booked out and you're making some good money, there's a way, there's a very easy route that you can take and lose everything. And if we're going to be transparent here, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be, you know, uh, using, not using your money financially, right? You're just not making the right financial decisions. You're not preparing, you're not saving, and you're just kind of going as, as your career is growing and you're not really growing for the bigger picture at the end. And you know, I, I think over the years that I've been doing this, I've seen a lot of people deteriorate from bad decisions and not practicing those habits. So that way, when you start making more and more money, you're ready to take on all those things. And it's something that we need to talk about. I'm just here to put some light into it. I've already seen it many times, a lot of barbers that are that are pretty successful, they're great at cutting hair, they're great at talking to people, but somewhere along the road, they just make a bad decision. And I just see it go downhill in a very slow, uh, terrible way. Uh, And I would like to say a way not to do that. And I would say to not do that is to seek. You gotta continue seeking answers. I feel like If I didn't seek for answers as my career was growing, I would have never been where I am now. And I feel like a lot of us have the information now, but when the information is being given, are you taking action? Are you actually taking the things and implementing? Are you just taking, or are you just taking the easy route? Are you just simply listening but not taking action? You know, ask yourself these questions when you are going along in your career. Um, It's something that we all need to talk about. And that's why I'm here. I want to put some light into it. Uh, What's one way, let's talk about what's one way that we can avoid this. I I feel like we all need a hobby. So if you're not just, if you're just completely into cutting hair, that's awesome. But what else can there be? What else are you into? Are you into exercising? Are you into comic books? Are you into cars? You need to find some sort of hobby outside of barbering. This advice is for the general population. If you're committed and you're killing it, you're crushing it, and all you're doing is cutting hair, you don't care about anything else, cool, man, that's awesome. I would say share that with the world. Share that. What are you doing right? Share it with people. Tell the world what's what's working for you. Um, I can tell you the people that are doing that, they're probably into other things like probably reading books. They're probably exercise. They probably are into content creation. Uh, you know, you can share that with them. But you can't argue with me that you, you got to find something in the alternative of that. It's called vertical integration. You can start doing your t-shirt brand. You can start doing YouTube. Get your podcast growing. See what that brings. Uh, Help somebody else out in the industry. Have you helped somebody? Have you done a free class? 
uh, there's a lot of things you can you can really talk about that takes energy out of you to do and uh, that's my biggest tip right now for barbers that are on the on the come up that's on that is working on their career is to find your purpose and that's a okay that's a tough one I'm not gonna say find your purpose completely but find a reason why you're doing what you're doing a lot of the times you can be saying if you have kids you can tie it to your kid you can say hey I want my kid to have a better future that's why I'm working this hard or that's why I'm doing this for my child um, for your spouse for your significant other uh, for your parents if you want to retire your parents I'm working hard because I know my, my parents struggled my whole life and I would love to retire them in the future I don't want them to struggle as they get older uh, I that's one of the things that really puts me going is uh, helping my significant other and helping my family grow and I saw my parents struggle throughout my whole life so I'm here to make a difference and the way to do that is by fixing myself first and helping myself and get better so that way I can help others. There's a saying out there that says, when a plane is about to crash, what do what is the instructions for you to do? They tell you to put your oxygen on mask first. They tell you that because if you can't help yourself, at that moment, you're not going to be able to help anyone else. With that said, thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope to bring more of these badass videos for you guys. And I'm super excited that I have a cool setup now. And I'm going to just do videos, video content form with uh, podcast style. And uh, have a great one. Thanks for listening.